Hi, I'm Tina C. Hines, your Life Transformation Specialist, guiding emotionally wounded women who are on this journey from hurting to healing to happiness. I'm an intuitive, clairvoyant, medium, empath, uh, healer, all that magical shit wrapped up into one. Y'all know. Anyway, um, yesterday I was... Uh, out in the park, just enjoying being in nature. It was a beautiful sunny day here in Georgia, and um, and and um, and and I just was out, you know, being amongst nature, trying to not get stung by a bee, all that little stuff right there. And I took a picture of me sitting on a bench, and I said, "If you are." sitting on this bitch and you can ask me one question what would that question be and so i posted it on facebook and a few of you started responding but it was very interesting that there was one in particular question that was asked several times of the women who responded there were a few other uh questions that were asked one person even said can we meet for lunch <laughs> um but there was one question that was asked and it was when will i find my soulmate when will i meet the one <sighs> y'all know what's about to happen right who was it somebody summoned grandma jenny already y'all know what's about to happen so you know, as I started looking at it and I started responding to a few of the women that came in early on, it was like, hmm, almost as if the, the response that was given was not what they wanted. That's how my, that's not how my magical shit works. My magical shit doesn't give you what you want to hear. And sometimes it may not be exactly how you envisioned it. So for one example, one person had said, where is hers? And my response was, I don't know why I see California. And she was like, well, I, I live in, I live in Pennsylvania. That does not, just because you live in one state does not mean you cannot meet someone who resides in another state. You may be crossing paths in the airport. You may be crossing paths at a meeting or an event. You never, never know. The person could be actually living in Pennsylvania, but they have they migrated to Pennsylvania, but they're originally from California. See, a lot of the times, you everything is literal. The way my 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 stuff works, everything is not literal because. Y'all girl, Grandma Jenny, she, she controls a lot of how my responses are articulated to you for the mere fact that you have to feel it. You have to see it. If I go and say, Angela, you're going to do this, this, and this, and this. And Angela's going to be like, okay, Tina said I'm going to do this. And, oh, wait a minute, here's this. She told me to make a left-hand turn. Let me go make a left-hand turn. Or I don't know if that left-hand turn is right, so maybe it's correct. So let me go right. And then you'll start making adjustments based on what has been shared with you. So how I am guided when I am serving is to help you create a vision of the possibilities of what could happen or what could come to you, but not specific of how it will come to you. Do you are are y'all understanding this? See, there are some people who, some, I like to call us magical people, who have this gift, and they will be specific with you. But here's the interesting thing about when someone is specific. You will go and say, well, they told me that if I did this, this is going to happen, and they were wrong, so they're really not real. They're fake. Y'all won't come at me with that, because my grandmother won't allow it. It's like when I'm teaching this Yes to Healing class, and a lot of the information that is coming, they are having their breakthrough moments. Now, the breakthrough could have been easy if I go, well, here's what your pain problem is, and here's what you need to do, and blah, 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 blah. I could have kept pinpointing exactly everything. But this vessel is to help guide you and help navigate you through the process of peeling back the layers 
of understanding certain situations that may have transpired in your life and the impact that it has. And sometimes you're thinking it's one thing, but as I'm giving you assignments of peeling back the layers, it's something totally different. But if I had shared with you the specifics of it, your focus would have been on exactly that. So now, as the ladies are in this six-week class and they're peeling back the layers and they're like, wow, wait a minute, I didn't see this coming or I, I didn't know that this was impacting me. I thought it was this. And I'm sitting over here in my bed looking at my phone like, mm-hmm, I know. Oh, she got it. I'm so happy. Oh, look at, look, look at my baby. That's me. Because you need to have the aha moment. I don't need to have it. I already didn't have my breakthrough. I knew what my shit was. But you needed to experience it for yourself. You needed to know what it felt like. It's like people can tell you to go do certain things, but that's their feeling. You need to have your own feeling. Because then as you continue to work on it, you'll be like, oh, I know what this feels like. Oh, wait a minute. This happiness? I, I like this. I, I know Tina told me about the happiness and I sort of was kind of getting it. But to experience it for myself, to feel it for myself. Wait a minute. This is a whole new thing. And every time some shit hits the fan and life seems to be having all these curveballs thrown at me, I remember what the happiness feels like and I know that I need to get back to there. But if you haven't felt it up close and personal and you're, 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 you're absorbing it through other people, the impact is a little bit different. So you need to be willing to experience it for yourself. It's like you, 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 somebody goes and they buy a home and you're still living in an apartment and they know what it. it's like, oh, I got a home. This is mine, even though it's the bank's. But this is mine. I'm not longer paying a rent. I'm paying a mortgage and all the responsibility. But, oh, I can do what I want. I ain't got to ask anybody. Versus, oh, girl, you should get a home. You don't know what it feels like. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it, 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 it's just crazy. The feeling is different. It's just like seeing couples in a relationship. And all you see is the surface of the love. But you don't see the process that they went through for the love. And I've emailed you a million times trying to see your face. Aww. It, it's, it's, oh, okay. It's, I have this friend. And we met, we were connected through some other people. But every time I was around her and her husband, there was just something about their connection that made me like, I want that. And then we would have conversations and I would talk to her about, I'd be like, girl, I just love y'all relationship. I love how y'all do things separately. Y'all do things as a family. Y'all do things as a couple. I love that. And her response, she was like, yeah, it, 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 it is, it's good, but it takes a lot of work. See, a lot of us are looking from the outside, don't realize the work that is required on the inside. But the outside looks pretty. But if we don't know the discussions that were going on in the household, we don't know when one, at some point somebody was sleeping in another room. We don't know sometimes when things were going crazy with the kids and y'all was butting heads. We don't know. We don't know. But I was just like, girl. And I still, even to this day, whenever I look at them or I talk to them, and I'm just like, wow. I, I love that. I love seeing that. So... Several people ask me, when is the one going to show up? When, you know, when is that, you know, where is he? Where is he? Where is she? So something interesting 
because I do this daily reading. Sometimes I skip a day. Don't hurt. Don't sue me. But today's was interesting. Because immediately a couple of things came to mind when I revisited that post and saw that there were more women who asked, when will I meet the one? Where is he? A couple of things came to mind, a couple of questions. Are you ready for the one? Are you ready? And what I mean by ready is, have you cleansed your vessel? Have you gotten over the relationship that was not as successful as you wanted it to be? Have you worked through that? If there is some trauma of the past, have you given yourself permission to clean out the wound and heal instead of pulling, putting a band-aid over top of it? Have you done that? Now this is going to be a little bit deeper, especially for my entrepreneurial women. Have you given yourself permission to focus on your purpose, passion, that when boo thing comes into play, he will add, he or she will add value to it versus being a distraction stopping you from doing it. Are you clear with what the qualities are that you want in this person? And is there any room for compromise? What is your non-negotiable? Because the last thing you want to do is pull another person into your storm who's trying to be happy and fill the shoes of somebody else that they could never meet. And then you're miserable and say it doesn't, didn't work. Because your potential mate, you're going to have to be on one accord, as they call it. They're going to have to understand your need for certain things. Are you a good communicator about what you like versus what you dislike? Because we can rattle off what we dislike like that. Do you know what you want? But for the most part, sometimes Boo Thang ain't showed up yet because you're not ready. Or you're working on some things and your ancestors are like, no. Not yet. You got work to do. Or is that me? There is a couple I follow on Instagram. And they are located in Bali and their 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 um their their thing is indefinite honeymoon. That's the woman. That's what she calls it. His name is Jarrell. Her name is, I forgot, something to be with an A. And they have been on this travel journey for years, exploring different countries. And now they're living in Indonesia. And the, their name, Indefinite Honeymoon, in my eyes, it signifies that they are always on a honeymoon because they are always traveling, having experience, still living their life, still doing his artistic work. She's still writing books. Their creative minds are always flowing. When they came together, 
they knew what they wanted in the relationship with one another. And I might be wrong, but I think I remember reading that they even came to a conscious decision that they got a lot of nieces and nephews and they don't want children of their own. I could be wrong about that, I'm not sure. But it's there to, they, it is, you can see it, you can see the love behind it. You can see that they are in sync with one another. Of course, there's some inside stuff we probably don't see, but for the most part, they're in sync with one another, with what they want in the relationship, in the marriage. So this morning, as I am doing my um, morning reading, this passage came up and I was like, oh, talk about right on time. Right on time. So this quote is from one of my favorite authors, Susan L. Taylor. And I believe it is from her book, In the Spirit. He writes, When you commit yourself to living love, you feel at peace with yourself because you are at, you are at harmony with the flow of life. Viewing life from the highest perspective, you feel confident and secure. You realize that regardless of how things appear, you are loved and protected. Knowing you are one with God, you have peace with you wherever you go. You're not looking for love, but the opportunities to love. Thank you, Angela. You're not looking for love, but the opportunities to love. Self-care. Every morning, I awaken to the reality that I have a choice. Everybody write choice in the comments. I can choose to love myself first before I give any part of myself away. Wow. Wow. Or I can decide to step out into the world empty and allow situations, circumstances, and people to dictate how I feel. I choose to spend the beginning of my day in gratitude and appreciation of myself, seeking opportunities to love on and encourage myself. As I love myself with words of appreciation and affirmation, my cup is filled. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. I appreciate the positive affirmation or compliments others give me, but that does not change my day. Loving me, I realize, is my responsibility. As I love myself fully, I show others how to love me. I love me, and I am enough. As I love myself fully, I show others how to love me. The book is I Am Enough by Harold LaFall. 90 Days of Spiritual Nuggets to Recognize and Embrace Your Authentic Self. For those of you who are patiently or impatiently waiting on your soulmate. Start with loving you enough. Stand in the mirror. 
tell yourself how much you love yourself. Embrace your scars, the ones visible and the ones that are not. Embrace your perfections and your imperfections. But most important, you have to start with healing. So you're not hurting all over the relationship. The relationships that even did not go as you anticipated. Think about how they started. Instead of living in the not so good periods, how about focusing on the good ones when you first met, when you first started dating? The things that wowed you about one another. Focus on that. This journey of healing, it's something that's very interesting and requires consistent work. Sometimes we are more inconsistent than we are consistent. But at the end of the day, if you want to invite and accept someone into your space. There needs to be peace. There needs to be healing. There needs to be love. And when you know all of these things about yourself, the soulmate you want to show up will appear. Because their vessel needs to be okay as well. Yes, we all have baggage. Lord knows we do. But that does not mean you have to carry it everywhere you go. If this message spoke to you, I hope you share it with five other phenomenal women. If you are not inside of my Facebook group, Doorway to Self-Love, I invite you to join us. And if I can be of service to you, you can always go to tinacheinz.com for a consultation, a reading, or a healing session. And if you're really bold, you can meet me for the self-love retreat in Mexico. If you're bold. I want to wish you all a great day. Thank you so much for being here. Take care.